Chief Marketing Officer of Harley Davidson Motor Company, Mr. Mark Hans Richard. For not just making an electric motorcycle, but making something that reflects the true spirit and history of Harley Davidson in the way it looks and feels and even in the way it sounds. So let's hear how it sounds. Let's welcome the Harley Davidson Livewire to the history, the future history of Harley Davidson, which you are all part of tonight. Let's see Project Livewire. Hey everybody, it's Ben Nelson here. I am at the Harley Davidson Museum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where they just revealed the Project Livewire. So I'm gonna talk to some folks and see what they all think about electric motorcycles. I, I like it. I think out of the electric bikes I've looked at, the Harley's really nice. It's a definitely a different feel. Um, I like the feel, I like, I like the sound. I think it's a pretty cool bike. I mean, it's really innovative and new. Um, I think it'll appeal a lot to the younger generation like me and just, I think it's awesome. I think it's pretty cool looking. Uh, definitely new, different, especially for Harley Davidson. I think it's something great. Uh, totally a different look for something that says Harley on the side. Plenty of power, just like your Teslas. A uh, little louder than I was expecting, partially probably because of that dynamo. The style is amazing and just everything about it's really nice, smooth. Sounds like, sounds like a Prius. <laughs> So yeah, I think it was great. I actually got a chance to uh, try it out in the jump start and it's exactly what I thought it would be, which is exactly what I was looking for in an electric bike. You know, I've been following Zero since they came out and I, I think this has a, you know, a definite hand up on what, what the electric bike should be. Uh, but I would have went with shaft drive or chain. The amount of torque that thing's got within a split second, I had it up to over 60 miles an hour on the dyno. Well, I mean, it's different. Um, for what it is, the thing looks pretty cool. I like, I mean, for a stock bike, it looks sweet where they got the mirrors mounted on the forks and everything. They got the tail lights incorporated in the, like, the license plate bracket and integrated in. So, I mean, that part's pretty cool. Uh, the styling's amazing. Uh, the aluminum frame looks pretty cool, especially in the shadow box in the, in the tent there. I think they just did a great job overall. It looks really modern, just, I feel a lot of people are going to like the look and style of this bike. For range I feel I feel like they're about 50 miles short right now I think the target a hundred miles would be great for even a city of Milwaukee you know I for a commute and being able to run those couple errands or grab dinner after work and get still get home it depends on the price and the range what they can get out of a full charge I mean if you could only get only go 50 miles it might be hard to say that it's worth the money but I think they'd be great for commuters in a city definitely um, Probably not a long range commute, but definitely something in a city, something like that. Okay, well we're here in the city of Milwaukee. Perfect, it'd be perfect for someone, you know, live downtown, work in the area, it'd be great. Would you consider buying one? Probably, yeah, definitely. It looks like it'd be a fun bike to throw around. It looks like it would handle well and everything. It's hard to, it's hard to believe that it's a prototype because it looks like you could buy it today. I mean, it looks done. Personally, I think it's gonna be a great bike. Um, the only thing no one seems to know is if it's got level two, or excuse me, level three or uh, DC fast charging capabilities, as it's only a prototype yet. But it is capable of level two, is what I've been told. I think it's a few more years out right now. I think people are really attached to the noise and the just everything, the look and feel of stuff that uses gasoline. So I think it's a while out there, but it's bound to happen eventually. Like I said, about 100 miles in range and rapid charging, which you know you, you even see it now in Tesla. If they can get there with the rapid charging, that's going to be a game changer for everyone. Until next time, check out more at 300mpg.org.